If you've ever woken up at 3 a.m. after a breakup, unable to stop crying or thinking about them, here's what's actually happening in your brain right now. Neuroscience research shows that nighttime emotional pain isn't random. Your brain chemistry fundamentally changes between 2 and 4 a.m., making breakup pain up to 60% more intense than during daylight hours. Here's what's happening in three specific brain regions, and why it gets worse at night. First, your cortisol levels. Cortisol is your stress regulation hormone, and it follows a predictable 24-hour cycle. During the day, cortisol stays elevated, helping your prefrontal cortex maintain emotional control. But between 2 and 4 a.m., cortisol drops to its lowest point. Your prefrontal cortex, the rational part of your brain, essentially goes offline. Without cortisol to regulate it, your emotional brain takes over completely. This is why the same breakup that feels manageable at noon becomes absolutely devastating at 3 a.m. It's not weakness. It's biochemistry. Second, your amygdala becomes hyperactive. The amygdala is your emotional processing center, and studies using fMRI scans show it's 60% more active during late night hours. When cortisol is low, the amygdala processes emotional memories without the prefrontal cortex filtering them. Every memory of your ex hits with full intensity, no rational perspective to soften it. This is why you remember only the good moments at 3 a.m. Your amygdala is pulling up dopamine-associated memories, flooding you with what you lost, not why it ended. The contrast between those happy memories and your current empty bed creates what neuroscientists call acute emotional prediction error. Your brain expected them to be there, they're not. And at 3 a.m., you can't rationalize that discrepancy away. Third, your melatonin levels peak between 2 and 4 a.m. Melatonin doesn't just make you sleepy, it also reduces serotonin production. Serotonin regulates mood stability. Low serotonin plus high melatonin creates the perfect neurochemical storm for rumination. Your thoughts loop obsessively because your brain literally cannot shift perspective. This is why you can spiral for hours at 3 a.m. but feel relatively okay by 9 a.m. By morning, cortisol rises, melatonin drops, serotonin increases, and your prefrontal cortex comes back online. So here's the protocol based on circadian neuroscience research. Step 1. Expect it. Between 2 and 4 a.m., emotional pain will be 60% worse. This isn't a sign you're not healing, it's a sign your brain chemistry is at its lowest regulatory point. Knowing this removes the shame spiral. Step 2. Don't make decisions or send messages. Your prefrontal cortex is offline. Any decision made at 3 a.m. is made by your amygdala alone, and you'll regret it by 9 a.m. Put your phone across the room. Step 3. Reset your cortisol. If you wake up spiraling, get out of bed. Turn on bright lights, which signal your brain it's daytime, and trigger early cortisol release. Cold water on your face, 10 push-ups, anything that physiologically signals daytime. Step 4. The 20-minute rule. If you can't sleep after 20 minutes, get up. Staying in bed reinforces the neural association between your bed and emotional pain. Break the pattern. To recap, cortisol drops at 3 a.m., removing emotional regulation. Your amygdala goes into overdrive processing memories without rational filtering, and melatonin peaks while serotonin drops, locking you into rumination loops. By 9 a.m., your neurochemistry rebalances, and the pain becomes manageable again. It's not that you're broken, it's that your brain chemistry is temporarily against you. If this explained why your nights are harder than your days, subscribe for more Neuroscience of Heartbreak.